What's up guys, it's Kiri here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my final office tour and I am so excited to share it with you guys. I actually don't think I've gotten this many requests about any other video, so I'm here in my office and I'm ready to show you guys the complete finished office. I've done all my work on it, so I also managed to film some before clips so I can give you guys a really good look at what the space looked like before I started working on it and I also filmed some kind of in between as well while I was getting it ready. So without rambling on too much, Let's get into the tour. Here we go. So this is currently my office setup. Now because I didn't have an office in my old apartment, I don't really have any office furniture whatsoever. There's not very much space on the desk. It just about fits my computer. There's quite a lot of space to work with here. It's got a nice high ceiling, a beautiful big window, lots of natural light. So there you have it guys. That is the before of my office. Let's see what we can do with this space. So starting over here, we have my wardrobe. Now these are almost floor to ceiling and they are huge and very spacious. And then when we move over here, we have my standing rail. So this was a whopping seven euro in Ikea and oh my God, it has served me so, so well. So obviously I use my wardrobe for my general storage, but for some new pieces that I haven't shot yet or outfits that I'm planning, I pop them all here. So for example, this top here from River Island was what I wore this morning on Ireland AM. I wore it with this gilet from Shein. Um, I'll link them down below. And then I have two other new in pieces. This one here is from Shopbop. I love this kind of suede biker jacket. This one is from Shein as well. This is a denim jacket. And then that shirt I think is from Shein as well. I'll link everything below, so don't worry. Coming over to the window. Now it's very, very sunny out today. So I have this open, but I might close it to give you a better look at this ottoman here because I know it just kind of looks a bit white. But I'm going to bring you over here and show you the curtains. So these are a pink blush kind of velvet texture. These actually came with the apartment so I have no idea where they're from. So this plant right here is from Ikea. You will have seen it already if you watched my first interiors haul. I will link that below so you can take a look. I think it was only about 14 euro and it just adds a nice pop of green to the room. Okay so I've just pulled down the blinds so you can get a much better look at this ottoman that I wanted to show you. So this guy right here is the ottoman that I have for my office. It took me so so long to find the right one. I wanted one that was round, that had that beautiful velvety grey fabric and I found just that on eBay and it was very very affordable and I'm just so so happy with how it turned out. The quality is amazing and it also has these super cute gold legs as well. I know it's coming up quite shiny on camera but I hope that you guys can get a feel for how gorgeous this piece of furniture is. It really really ties the office together and it's perfect for just chilling on. I also use this to shoot kind of stock on so I can take pictures of shoes and bags and clothes with this as kind of a backdrop and I just love it so so much so when it came to the actual computer part of my office, I wanted to create kind of a unit. And because I spend so much time in this little spot here, all day, every day, I'm always here working, I needed a space that was motivating and energizing. So I started with this glass tabletop from Ikea and then I chose two of the trestle legs from Ikea as well. And as you guys will probably know if you watched my latest DIY, I sprayed these gold and I think it came out so, so well. I won't go into that process too much because you can see a video on on exactly how I do that and I will link that below in the description. So I chose that as my desk setup and then I decided to go with two of the Visito shelves on either side. Thank God it all fit and I just think it looks so so great. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer and I'm going to talk you through everything. So first off we have my desk here. As you can see it's a clear glass top desk with a nice little pattern on it and then I have a little section here with some of my tech bits. This is my blue microphone. I also have two different pairs of headphones here. I usually keep my vlogging camera here as well and any other 
bits that I need. So as a rule, I do like to keep my desk area pretty simple. I am almost 100% digital in that I don't really use any paper or pens or notepads. So I like to keep this space really, really simple because there's usually so much going on here and here that it's nice to just have a clean space to work with. My first desk was about this big. It only came to about here and this desk is at least four times the size if not bigger so it's really really nice to have that bit more space so just a quick note on my desk chair this one is also from ebay and i will leave it in the link below and i have a sheepskin rug just thrown over it so now i'm going to move on to these drawers here so like i said these drawers are the visito range from ikea they're only about 55 euro and they are so so easy to assemble it really doesn't take much time at all so i decided to use these two drawers as kind of accent pieces that would kind of ground the desk in the middle but also serve as a little bit of decor in themselves. Then on this drawer here I have my salt lamp which I absolutely love. This is always on and it's just really really nice and calming and I just love how it looks. Then I have a lovely dip tea candle here in a little bell jar. Again these bell jars you will have seen if you watched my interiors haul. It took me so long to finally find them and lo and behold they were in Ikea the whole time. So next up on this shelf here I have another quote. This one is a little bit shiny it's kind of hard to see but it says now we sip champagne when we Thursday, which is a Biggie Smalls quote that I absolutely love. And then over here we have a gorgeous bottle of the pink Moe. And this one actually has a picture of me on the front, which is so cool. They sent me a personalized bottle, which was pretty, pretty deadly. And then I have another little small bottle there. And then my YSL bag also lives here as well. I find it quite handy to have my bags within reach because I have so few of them and all of the ones that I have are super special. So I kind of like having them on display as well. And then that brings me to the bottom shelf, which is where my Louis Vuitton bag lives. Now this gets used so so frequently that I find it's handy for it to have its own home I don't really see a point in keeping it in its dust bag So it lives here on my bottom shelf and I think it's very happy about that So now we are moving over to this shelf and I have two other prints here. These are from Etsy I will actually link all of the prints in the description below because most of them are actually purchased on Etsy So then moving on to the next shelf here. I have this gorgeous rose gold light fixture This is from an Irish online interiors company called the Temple Wolf. They also do amazing jewelry as well but I just love this so so much and then over here I have another gorgeous little quote this one is by Chupi who is an amazing Irish designer and then on to the next shelf here this is one of the diffusers from Next that you will have seen me talk about in my latest interiors haul I absolutely love this so much I love the color on the bottle and I love this little fake banana leaf here and the smell is absolutely beautiful as well so this kind of slowly disperses it through the room which is great and then next to it I have my Urban Outfitters skull I'm not too sure if these are still available but I will try and find them and link them below if I can and then I have this adorable little cactus this one is from pennies I think it was only about three or four euro and it's just so so cute and I decided to pop it in one of my bell jars which I got from Ikea so I just love this shelf I think this one's a little bit more moody and I just think it's so cool so then on this next shelf here I have one of my lettering signs and as you may have seen in my YouTube channel before I used to have this in the back of all my videos and I think I will start doing that again in this case I didn't really know what to put in the bottom part so I just put subscribe. So hey, if you see this and it prompts you to subscribe, then I've done my job, so that's great. But this is my little tech and gadget shelf. So this is where I charge everything. As you can see, I've got a four bar there. It's actually charging a battery as we speak, and I have another one there that I'm going to charge. I obviously need to have my vlogging camera batteries constantly on charge because I'm always using them. So while the shelf is not super pretty, it is extremely functional, let me tell you that. And I think every office needs a little tech shelf. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you is is probably my favorite thing in the whole office and it is my gorgeous neon wall sign from Bag and Bones. I am just so so obsessed with this light. I really feel like it sets the tone for the whole room and as cheesy as it sounds it absolutely gives me life every time I turn it on so whenever I'm getting work done in here I usually have it on. So if like me you are absolutely obsessed with wall signs definitely check out Bag and Bones. They are so much less expensive than the traditional glass piped wall signs. They're also better for your ESB bill they're safer and look you guys how cool does that look oh I can't I just love it so so much so the last thing that I have in my room is this full-length mirror because hey what would a blogger's office room be without a full-length mirror this is what I'm wearing while I'm filming the room tour and this is a 
baby pink sweatsuit from Shein and I am just obsessed with this. I love this so, so much. So as always, I will leave links to everything featured right down in the description below. A lot of the pieces are still available online, so I will find everything that I can and I will link it all below, so don't worry. So be sure and leave me a comment down below and let me know which part of the room tour was your favorite and which piece was your favorite out of everything I've shown you. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up as that would help me out a lot. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on my next one. Bye!